So, I just saw the Powerpuff Girls Anniversary Special. I was kinda excited for it, but I had also mixed feelings about it because uh, first of all I was a really big fan of the show and the uh, movie which I think is one of the best superhero origins movie out there and of course the show was great uh, but uh, also there for the uh, special they introduced a really weird looking uh, new design for the girl which is even weird in comparison to the already weird design of the girls from the original cartoon. But yeah, I gave it a chance and here are my thoughts about it. First of all, what's the story? Mocha Chocho tries to kidnap a math magician, an opera singer and a badger, but uh, gets stopped by the pop of girls. He swears a wrench, but then the girls uh, play a game called Dance Pants Revolution, which of course is a pun on the game Dance Revolution. Bubbles gets way too attached to it and they kinda break up. Well, not break up, Bubbles just plays the game too much and uh, uh, Blossom and uh, Buttercup has to go on patrol, uh, only the two of them. But then Bubbles realize she uh, has an addiction and then everything is happy again. But then they get a, a new game called Dance, Revolu Dance Pants Revolution, which of course is sent to them by Mojo Jojo. Uh, he turns uh, first Bubbles, then Blossom and then Buttercup into robot zombie minions from him. And yeah, they after that they are under his control and do their biddings and try uh, to uh, kidnap the math ma magician, the opera singer and the bachelor again but then they has, have a dance off with the professor. It sounds weird but that's the story. It's it's a typical pop of girl story. Um, I liked it, I kinda liked it. The, but it was nothing extraordinary. I, I expect a little, little bit more and yeah, it's only about 20 minutes long, so not that much of a special. The only thing that justifies it as a special is the, the fact that it's uh, now the first episode after about six years. So yeah, what did I thought, think of the new style of the show. It's it's uh, CGI, it's, but it's CGI that looks like hand-drawn animation, uh, but sometimes you can tell clearly tell it's uh, CGI by the camera angles and the way the character moves. I didn't mind the CGI that much because the, sec uh, the newer season of the, the movie in the old cartoons had all also um, some CGI uh, effect which I didn't mind it sometimes it helps the animation sometimes not I, I have nothing against CGI if it's it, if it's well made CGI then I'm, I'm totally fine with it here it looks it looked good it looked good the the design of the girls I mentioned in the beginning uh, it's not that bad. You get used to it really quickly and hearing and the fact that the uh, old voice actors uh, reprised the roles as the girls made it very easy to get attached to the girl. But there is uh, a downside to the special. The pacing. The pacing is really fast. Way too fast. It's it's way too comedic, way too fast and really random. There is a story but it's, it feels like choke on choke on chokes on chokes. It's, you, you really notice that the, the creators tried really hard to make this as funny as possible but it really really isn't that funny. 
Sometimes it, it has some good jokes, don't make, get me wrong, but there are some really weird moments, like, for example, there is a flashback uh, that shows the professor uh, on a soul uh, train ripoff, and then out of nowhere Isaac Newton and and other famous scientists show up out of nowhere and m make, made some jokes and it was really random and weird and not all that funny. Uh, the girls had some funny lines but sometimes also they, they talk to them, they just talk to themselves and that's really weird so yeah, it was kind of weird. And the style is even more minimalistic than the than the old cartoon, I mean the the seasons after the movie, and yeah, it, it's kind of it's kind of blocky. It's, mm, that that bugged me a little. Not not the not the look of the style, but how it was uh, how it was done. It was kind of weird. It was kind of weird. Uh, but the style reminded me a little bit of an uh, old Ren and Stimpy episode. It had, it had a little feel, but it, it, it was not in any way as funny as a Ren and Stimpy episode. Not at all. Also, Craig McCracken was not involved in any way in this, because of course he has now his own show, uh, Wonder Over Yonder, which I hope will soon continue. And I'm pretty sure he just doesn't want to be the dead horse because now you, you see it's not it's in any way uh, com comparable to the old cartoon but it, it was not bad it was not bad it had it just didn't have that feeling from the old cartoon the character itself what did I one of the characters. Uh, the good thing is all voice actors of the old cartoon reprise the roles as the characters. There is Tara Strong as Bubbles, Ichi Daly as Buttercup and Katie Cavadini as Blossom. That That's cool, that's cool. I, I really appreciate that, that they got, got uh, all the voice actors of the girls, but also the voice actors of the side character. There is Tom Kenny as the mayor, Tom Kane as the professor, and uh, Roger Jackson as Mojo Jojo. But Mojo Jojo looked weird. He looked really weird. Uh, yes, he had that blood washed eyes, then uh, really thin hair around his face. He still ha had his fur, but because he's a monkey, he needs his fur, but, but around the face there is some, some some hair that looks really weird and he was really thin and looks really like, almost like a drug addict or an ill person, it was really, it was almost scary, it was, I, I really didn't, I really didn't like his design. Then there were some new characters, as I said, the Batcher and the opera singer, but they had no lines, and there were the math magician called Fibonacci, which is a pun on the Fibonacci system in mathmat mathematics. And he was voiced by Ringo Starr, and that's that's cool, that's cool, because um, the old cartoon had some affiliation with the Beatles. And yeah, that that's cool, that's cool. Even if Craig McCracken wasn't attached to this, it's cool that, that they they keep on his legacy of uh, Beatles references, yeah. So, do I recommend this special? If you're a fan, check it out, of course. I... I liked it. I... I had some issues with it, as I said, but... It's not bad, it's not bad in any any kind of way. It's not bad, it's just not something special, even if it is a special, but it's not special. It's an average episode, maybe even lower than average. In the old cartoons it would be a, a, an episode that would uh, totally slap under the radar, but 
yeah, it's not bad. It's good to see that it, it that the girls are back, even if it's just for that episode. But yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Um, it's nothing extraordinary, but it's cool. I liked it. So yeah, check it out if you're a fan. And if you don't care about the show, don't watch it. But it doesn't hurt anybody. Not the show. Not the girls. It's 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 nice.